Top 5 Best Fight Moments of Lisa Vanderpump Lisa Jane Vanderpump is an English television personality, businesswoman and actress. Since 2013, she has been a main cast member on Vanderpump Rules. From 2010 to 2019, she was an original main cast member on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. In 2021, she hosted Overserved with Lisa Vanderpump. Later that year, she was featured in Vanderpump Dogs. Vanderpump and her husband, Ken Todd, have owned 36 restaurants, bars and clubs across the United Kingdom and the United States, including the Shadow Lounge, Bar Soho, Sir Restaurant and Lounge, Villa Blanca, Pump Restaurant, Tom Tom Restaurant and Bar, Vanderpump Cocktail Garden and Vanderpump à Paris. Season 11 sticks out in particular as Erica Girardi's co-stars had many questions for her, but each season has feuds large and small. When looking back on every episode of the beloved reality series, viewers can definitely pick out some of the biggest conflicts that made everyone gasp and wonder what was going to happen next. Whether these arguments ended friendships, confused viewers, or seemed like they were totally inevitable, there have been many rogue fights that have made an impact on fans and are still discussion topics all of these years later. Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about top 5 best fight moments of Lisa Vanderpump. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. Lisa vs the others in Puerto Rico Lisa Vanderpump's husband, Ken Todd and Yolanda Hadid, had a big fight during the season 4 trip to Puerto Rico. Everyone was questioning if Lisa wanted Kyle to see a tabloid that featured a rumor about Mauricio's infidelity. Lisa felt that the others were being unfair, and she went home early. Things got worse when Yolanda and Ken fought, with Ken saying that they were being mean to his wife, and Yolanda telling him not to get involved. While this might not be a top of mind fight for fans since it happened pretty early on in the series, it's still rare to see a housewife's husband get involved in a huge argument. Brandy Glanville slaps Lisa Wonderpump. Their friendship was one that no one understood for a while, until it all went downhill for a second. Brandy Glanville is often wholly unpredictable, but on this season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, her erratic behavior is leaving co-stars and former friend reeling. Lisa Wanderpump says she has officially had her fill, and after Brandy slapped her, even though it was playful, she was done investing in their friendship. Lisa wants it known. The slap wasn't hard, but the intention behind it was what truly left her in shock, and it was the culmination of other factors which happened earlier in the day between herself and Brandy which were unshown, that really upsets her. I was shocked, reeling, admits Lisa. I have never insinuated that it was that hard. I had a small scratch on my upper lip from her acrylic claws, but the strength of the slap was not the issue. Brandy doesn't understand the severity behind her behaviors. I think in her own distorted mind, she thought this was playing, but no, it didn't feel like that, continues Lisa. First, she pushed me, okay, but it wasn't the actual slap, it was the violation. I haven't had a hand laid on me since I was a child. I immediately retreated to the bathroom. Unfortunately, it was the men's. Didn't realize it at the time. Locked the door and desperately tried to regroup and pull myself together as the tears flowed. Lisa recalls, I chastised myself and new cameras and friends were outside. Lisa shares, I felt ridiculous. And she worried that her response may provoke more drama when they finally had quelled it for the evening. I don't want my reaction to supersede the action. It wasn't that hard. So why did it provoke such an emotional response? Also, since Brandy is going ahead with this one, everyone on robe is a hypocrite. There's also that to consider. I might add that it seems ironic that this is the same person that constantly reiterates to Kyle, don't touch me, might seem a tad hypocritical, suggests Lisa. Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle Richards' friendship. The issue between the ladies started in 2018 after their co-star, Dorit Kemsley, adopted a puppy named Lucy from Lisa's rescue center. Wonder Pump Dogs. After Lucy ended up at a kill shelter, Teddy Mellencamp accused the Sir owner of encouraging her and the Wonder Pump Dog employees to talk about the situation on camera, so it would be a storyline on the show. While Kyle tried to stay neutral, she questioned Lisa when the story leaked to the press, upsetting the Wonder Pump Rules star. The pair then ended up in a heated argument with Lisa's husband, Ken Todd, kicking Kyle out of their house. Amid the drama, Lisa stopped speaking to her co stars, including Kyle. The former American woman producer told the US Weekly at the time that she has made an effort to reconnect with her friend. For me to put my hand to God and swear on my children's life and still have my friend disbelieve me is unacceptable, she wrote. I assure you, if any of my friends were as vociferous in their statement of innocence, holding up their children's life, guess what? I would believe them. 
that is where the show started, but it's ultimately where our friendship finished. Adrian, Maloof and Lisa it always felt like there was an unspoken competition for dominance of Beverly Hills between Adrian and LVP. They just never seemed to truly click. The situation came for a head in the second season when Adrian accused Lisa of selling stories about her family to the tabloids. LVP denied the accusations and seemed to feel very set up at the reunion. They fought in the following season over Adrian's drama with Brandy Glanville. Lisa was very protective of Brandy at the time and went to bat with both Adrian and her former husband multiple times over the season. Unfortunately, Adrian never showed up to the season 3 reunion, so we never got the round 2 showdown we deserved between her and LVP. I think you have to understand that when you sign up for something, it's a job, you know. Wonderpump told US Weekly after competing on ABC's Dancing with the Stars March 25th. The reunion is where you go and everything comes to fruition and you hash it out. And viewers want that the same way they want us to blog. So yeah, she got the hoof. She says she walked away, but she didn't. She got the big Maloof hoof. And you can quote me on that. Vonderpump has often clashed with the former BFF, Kyle Richards, throughout the past two seasons. And during the reunion, the brunettes once again came to blows over their fractured friendship. I've been through the reunion last year, and I was ganged up on, and I had a huge amount of support from the audience, Vonderpump told us, and I really felt this time I wasn't going to take it lying down. I was going to stand up and say, hey, this is what's going on, and I felt the way the whole thing played out this season, you saw it, the loyalties were divided, and I'm not like that. You've got to pick one side of the fence, you sit on the fence too long, you get splinters in your ass. Lisa Rinna and Lisa Wonderpump Kyle Richards liked a tweet shading her nemesis Lisa Vanderpump after she commented on Lisa Renner's exit from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Why didn't you comment about Vivienne Westwood and have to comment on this? The liked tweet read, referring to the recent death of iconic British fashion designer Vivienne Westwood. As many commenters pointed out, it's unclear why Wanderpump would comment on the death of the fashion designer as they seemingly have no connection other than both being British. However, Vonderpump caused quite the stir on social media Thursday by tweeting, Ding dong, just one hour after Rinna, stunned fans with her departure after eight seasons on the hit Bravo show. This is the longest job I have held in my 35-year career, and I am grateful to everyone at Bravo and all those involved in the series, Rinna told people in a statement published Thursday. It has been a fun eight-year run, and I am excited for what is to come. The outlet also noted that the decision for Rinna's departure was mutually agreed upon between her and Bravo. Both Rinna and Richards ended their friendships with Wanderpump during season 9 of the hit show when they questioned her involvement in Puppygate, a leaked story about Dorit Kemsley adopting a dog from Wanderpump Dogs that eventually ended up in a kill shelter. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments down below. And that's all for the day guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.